Hurricane Alley in the North Atlantic is famous for its storms. And right now, the crew of the 790-foot container ship El Faro has already changed course to avoid a big one, Tropical Storm Joaquin. El Faro is about halfway into a two and a half day weekly run from Jacksonville, Florida to San Juan, Puerto Rico. But by one in the morning, they're hitting the edges of the storm. Then it gets worse. In less than 24 hours, Joaquin has grown from a Category 1 to a powerful Category 3 hurricane. Near its center, it's producing sustained winds of 115 miles an hour. Oh my God. At 4 a.m., Chief Mate Steve Schultz is standing watch on the bridge, and able seaman Frank Hamm is at the helm. Down in the engine room, alarms are going off. Damn it! I think we just lost the plant. At the worst possible time, the ship's main engine sputters and shuts down. The engineers need to restore the oil pressure if they are to have any hope of restarting the engine. Without power, El Faro is at the mercy of the hurricane's enormous waves. The situation is critical. With a dead ship in a violent storm, starting the engine is their only hope to survive. No matter what they do, the engineers can't get the engine back online. El Faro could capsize any moment. The captain has no choice but to activate the automated mayday signal. All right, let's push the button. Stress button's been activated. It's the last signal ever received from El Faro. Bring the abandoned ship. You? Yeah. You good? Yeah. There you go. Focus. Go. 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 Oh, no. 